All right, everybody. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. So um, we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to go pier fishing for Lake Michigan coho salmon. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't done it in a really long time, uh, but I have some uh, bottom rigs rigged up. Um, as far as, you know, what I hear on the street is good for these guys, small hooks, light leaders, um, some medium light rods for, that you'd use for pier fishing. Um, anyway, so we're gonna try our hand at some coho today. I know these are some of the best eating, especially when they're small like this. So again, not looking to catch any tanks today, but hopefully we get into some little chromers. Um, there may be some browns and some steelhead on the pier as well. So we'll see what we get into. Again, if you guys haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this video. We'll see you on the water. All right, for those of you guys that are just tuning in, we are fishing on the pier for Lake Michigan coho salmon. So we're just waiting for a rod to go off. We got one in the box so far. Um, that was before I got here. I was just watching the rods, just like summer steelhead fishing and waiting for them to start jiggling around. This is Chris, this is the orchestrator of today's fishing trip. All right guys, we missed the bobber down, but we got a coho on. First coho of the morning. Or is it morning still? Um, oh, it's a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What's up, buddy? Hey, that's what we're talking about right there. Oh, go get him! <laughs> nice, buddy. <Bubbles> up. <laughs> yeah, man, that's awesome. I'm gonna get him off real quick and I'll come over and grab yours. Here. Oh, I could've got it for you. Here, I got you. Oh, I don't wanna hook your line. No, oh, no. He's in. That's a double header. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, that was an easy out for you. Hooks out. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. That's funny too, because I just turned the GoPro off. There you got it. There you have it. A little coho salmon right there. Yeah, buddy. Not the worst I've seen, that's for sure. Oh, that's a nibbler. There we go. Yep, that is a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, motherfucker. He's on. Still on there? Really? I was gonna say you had him on the hook set. It looked like he felt he let go, so I'd let him grab it again. He's on. All right, I'll grab the net. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a nice one. The net. Yeah, buddy. Let's have a look. Hold it up for the camera. 
<laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Fish flops. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Okay. There you go. Nice. Okay. Coho salmon. Oh. Sweet. Let's get a couple more of those. Nice brown, buddy. Oh wow, that is a nice brown. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, man, that is one solid coho. If that's a coho. Get it? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Damn. I think they're fine. Now. There you go. Oh, keep them up. There we go. Just set it down. Coho it's a coho salmon. Do you mind that I'm coming to look at it? Oh, no, 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 I just... Oh, pretty. Yeah. Oh, very good. Which one? The first one, the first one, too. You guys, I thought I'd take some time and kind of walk you through the setup that we're using to catch these fish. Um, I'm using a 10 and a half foot medium light action rod. And I have, you can use a 20 or a 30 series spinning reel. Uh, I prefer to use braid just because I can use, you know, 15, 20 pound test, even on a smaller reel. And I can fit a lot of line on there. However, if you got freezing temperatures, then you got to expect that you're gonna have some issues with uh, with line freeze. So you can use mono, um, eight, 10 pound mono would be okay as well. But like I said, I just like to use braid. I use it for pure fishing for steelhead a lot. So um, didn't really wanna change the line out for the, just for these uh, coho. So as far as the, the rig goes, it's really simple. The braid ends at, so here's the braid. And then I've just attached a snap swivel and the snap swivel slides down. And then I have just a six millimeter trout bead. And I just thread the line through that. And now I have my two way barrel swivel. And then that goes all the way down to my hook, which is a size eight blood run skeena hook. Um, you can use an eight, you can use a 10, you can use probably a six, uh, depending on the size of your bait. And um, yeah, that's it. I tie about a two foot leader on. And when you cast it out, obviously your spawn sacks have floater bags in them. Um, and I'll show you guys that right now. Cool, so anyway, it's that simple. Um, I'm really not sure what other baits would be effective to catch those fish off the pier, but again, uh, spawn with, you know, three or four floater balls, um, in each spawn sack on a bottom rig. And then, the and then on the snap swivel, I just attach 
there. I attach a pyramid sinker. So again, that's the end of the braid. And you got your pyramid sinker hanging from your snap swivel and then the line can move through that, but it won't get over your uh, two-way swivel here. And then I got my leader going all the way down to my Skeena hook. Okay, so again, real simple setup for these pure coho. And um, for those of you that get out and get after these, good luck to you. All right, you guys, so that about wraps it up for today's video. Thanks again for tuning in. Had a blast out on the pier getting into some coho salmon. Hope to do it again a couple more times before I get into steelhead and then uh, on the big water with the boat for salmon and whatnot. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you that haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you drop us a like. Send us a comment if you have any questions. And we'll see you on the water next time.